For today's video, we'll be talking about primary amines. In this case, this works for ketones and aldehydes. And so we would form what I'm drawing right now is an imine, right? It works for ketone and aldehyde. Okay, and this is called an imine when we um, do the reaction for a primary amine. So we start with a primary amine and it turns to an imine, right? So also this works for an aldehyde and a ketone. So the rule for this reaction is that we're going to have to have a primary amine. So let's do an example here. If we had this structure, we have an aldehyde here, okay? And our reagents that we're going to use, H plus, right? We're in acidic conditions. So this can be any acid, acidic conditions. And here is our, our primary amine, right? A carbon connected to a nitrogen. All right, so this is a primary amine. Also in this reaction, we're gonna have a loss of water, okay? That's not really important, but the main uh, ingredients, reagents, would be the, the one I boxed right now. So, to get this, all we do is look at that double bond oxygen, right? We change it, and all we do is uh, put that primary amine on it, okay? So it would look like this, right? The hydrogen is still there, double bond, nitrogen, CH3 with a lone pair. Okay, now the one I circled right now, this is called an imine, right? It's called an imine, what I, what I showed last time. Let's do another example here. Let's draw this structure here. This structure is a little different from last time. It's still a primary amine, but we see that the amine is on the structure. Right, it's on the structure. We'll still have it in acidic conditions. But our last example is that we had reacted with a um, a, uh, in a, a, a a primary amine. Right, the last time last time we had uh, written the uh, reagent. But this time we see the amine is on the structure. So in this case, it has a lone pairs and it's going to form a a ring, cyclo ring, cyclopentane ring in this case because we have a five membered ring. So this is why it forms a ring. I'll show you why when we do the mechanism for this. Let's work on the mechanism for this. The mechanism is quite lengthy, but it's very simple, fairly simple. Let's start with an aldehyde, react this with an acid, right, and a primary amine. The first step is this, the amine always attacks first, okay, when we draw it out, the structure looks like this, and CH3. The amine, the amine always attacks first, it goes to the carbon, and expels the electrons to oxygen. So we have a outcome of looking like this. The oxygen has a negative charge. The nitrogen has a positive charge. It is lacking electrons. Now the acid comes in, grabs the hydrogen, kicks off the A. This is a reversible reaction, so right, draw two arrows like that. The product for this right now would be look like this. Nitrogen still has a positive charge. Well, we have this alcohol right here. Now, the acid comes in, grabs the hydrogen attached to the nitrogen, right, and gives off an electrons to nitrogen, so nitrogen can become stable back. Let's draw the outcome of how it looks like. The hydrogen here. We have the OH. The nitrogen has a lone pair. Now again, the acid comes back again. So the acid comes back, the oxygen grabs the hydrogen, kicks off the A, right? The acid. So this is just repeating its step again. Okay. Now we have water formed over here with a positive charge. The nitrogen still has a positive, uh, no, has a lone pair. So now a double bond forms. We form a double bond and we kick off the water so this exact moment right here is where we get the loss of water we lost lose water right here in this step now we have the nitrogen with a double bond it has a positive charge the acid comes back one more time okay right there 
grabs the hydrogen connected to the nitrogen and gives off the electrons to make it stable. So this mechanism was just repeating itself. Okay, we have a final product that will look like this. And there we go, we have the imine form, right? We have the imine form. Also a byproduct of water has been formed. Okay. Again, there's lots of water right there. So we have the imine form, and this is our product. Let's do another mechanism here. Let's do the one where we have the amine attached to the structure. In this case, we have an aldehyde. It's reacting in acidic conditions. Let's start with a primary amine here. So the amine always attacks first. So the lone pairs goes to that carbon attached to the oxygen. Gives off the electrons to oxygen. We have a formation that would look like a five cyclomembered ring. So a cyclomembered ring we have formed. Nitrogen's positive charge. Don't forget about the oxygen. The oxygen has a negative charge. Now the HA comes in. Oxygen grabs the hydrogen, kicks off uh, the nucleophile, right? The acid, the A. In this case, nitrogen still has a positive charge, but we form an alcohol in this case. Now the acid comes again, grabs one of the hydrogens from the nitrogen, right? So it's just, the mechanism is just, it's just a repeat, right? Very repetitive. It's the same process over and over again. Nitrogen has a lone pair, OH. Now in this case, the acid comes again once again. Now we have this forming. Now this step again, we have water, so it's a good uh, leaving group, right? So we want to kick it off. But before we do that, let's form a double bond with the nitrogen and kick off the water. In this case, we have this structure, double bond right there, positive charge, the water is kicked off. This is where we have a loss of water, loss of water right here in this step because we kicked off the water. Now the acid comes again one last time to grab the hydrogen and give it off to nitrogen. In this case, it looks like a weird Emine, right? But we still formed it here. We still we still have it formed here, or I have it circled. So this is our final product. Now we know this is a reversible reaction. So let's start backwards, right? Let's start from the product. Okay. So we have this, right? The primary amine, right? And let's say it's reacting in acidic conditions, right? And we have water. So water makes it go backwards, reversible. So from here, um, we know that we are going to need a ketone. Okay, that's the first thing we know. So we draw the ketone, right? Now we draw the other half, right? The, uh, the primary amine. So we would have CH3 plus CH3 um, NH2, right? Because that is what we uh, would originally start with, right? Okay, or you can write it as you know H2 nitrogen with the lone pair and CH3 like that. Same thing, but this is our product that we have made. Let's do the mechanism for this now, uh, the reversal reversal reaction. In acidic conditions, right, and you have water. So water makes it go reverse, right? So let's start with the, with the acid, right? So HA, HA can be anything. So it grabs the hydrogen, kicks off the A. And we have this with a positive charge on nitrogen. Now the water comes in. Tax the carbon, it's connected to the nitrogen, expels the electron to nitrogen. Nitrogen is now a neutral uh, charge. We have water in the molecule. Okay, positive charge. Now the acid comes back, right? The A minus grabs the hydrogen and gives it off to oxygen in this case. Now the acid comes again, HA. So just re it's just a repeating pro process. 
right? Grabs the hydrogen, kicks off the A. We've seen this uh, many times. Now in this case, this NH2 with CH3 and NH2 is a very good leaving, so we form a double bond there, and then kick off the nitrogen. So in this case, we have lost NH2. Uh, not really important to write that, but it's okay. We have a positive charge on the oxygen. We have the A minus come back actually. We also made what we had kicked off, right? As a byproduct. Now the A minus comes back, grabs the hydrogen, and gives it off to oxygen. We have a final product of this the ketone plus the CH3NH2. And it's our answer.